Okay. Next thing we're going to be talking about is called binding and bind returns. Um, with binding, it's, a, it's an important thing for unresponsive play because it's the only way you're really going to get the yo-yo back to your hand. So if you see now, my yo-yo is not going back up. When I jerk it, you can actually, it's almost like a dead gyroscope on the string right now. Um, this is the way people play with their yo-yos for the most part these days. If you go to a yo-yo contest um, and you try and pick up somebody's yo-yo that you've never played with and you're a beginner, um, you're probably going to be doing this with it. You're going to be like, this doesn't work, it's not going back up. It's actually just the way we play with yo-yos these days. To get it to return, I do a bind. I land it onto the string. I bring my hand down into the yo-yo. It shoots it right back to my hand like so. A um, couple ways to do it. The first way to do it is you can go from a brain twister mount, like we showed you before, and instead of pushing in, you just take your non-throw hand and you come forward and you pull that string into the gap of the yo-yo. And it catches it. So let me show you that one more time. I take, the, I take my hand, I pull it down into the yo-yo gap, shoots it right back. That's a bind return. Um, a lot of times, like right now, it looks like I got a knot. Um, when you do a bind return from brain twister, sometimes it will catch the loop a little too much. It might grab it too much. A better way to do a bind return when you're throwing a sleeper so you throw it, and instead of landing forward, do a trapeze with it. Let me show you real quick. You throw it, and you actually swing it. It's kind of like a trapeze. It's backwards, though, because the yo-yo is spinning the opposite way. So you take your pointer finger, and you just pull down the opposite way this time into the yo-yo, and that'll shoot it back. This is a better way to do it, because it's going in the opposite way the yo-yo is spinning, and you're less likely to get a knot, like so. Another way to do it is from a trapeze, which is what a lot of the tricks we focus on are from trapeze moves. When it's on a string like that, you just take this hand and you pull it down into the yo-yo like so. Um, sometimes if you have a really unresponsive yo-yo, you might have to do it twice. Um, that goes for doing it this way as well. You might need to do a couple wraps to get it to come back, whatever it takes. Um, just be aware that you might have a knot, so when you throw, be a little bit careful when you're getting out there. Make sure it sleeps first. Do a light bind and practice that. And um, it's going to be what I do at most of the tricks you see in the future segments, the bind return.